Hey you guys, did you miss me? Okay, y'all about to hear the windows open. It is hot outside. Um, they cut the grass. It's a lot going on, but first of all, I'm so sorry that I haven't been here in like two or three weeks. It's obviously been because I've been extremely busy just trying to graduate. I'm just trying to graduate. But here I am, school is over, passed all my classes, did better than just passed, just saying. Um, and yeah, so it's 10 months on in three days. So today's May 1st, in three days it'll be 10 months. So y'all didn't miss too much to be honest, just, um, yeah, I think my last update was my nine month update. So I don't know, I guess this is monthly now. Cause to be honest, not much has really changed with my hair, um, but, my graduation is next week and I'm actually getting my hair professionally done by a loctician for the first time next week so I'm definitely going to show y'all what that looks like I'm probably going to get it pinned up into some sort of style my hair is not too long so it's not for so much she can really well I don't know I don't know what she can do with it honestly she's a loctician I mean I just feel like whenever I see people with locks and like getting their hair styled it's always like people with long mature locks and stuff so i mean she'll do her thing the only thing not the only thing but what really excites me as about actually getting it done by a loctician is that i'm assuming that this will mean that my retwist will last much longer than usual because y'all know once i retwist my hair literally it's gone within the next like week of me washing it but i'm also traveling like right after graduation for a couple of weeks where i'm definitely not doing anything to my hair while i'm going to be going so with that said it's it's great <laughs> that i'm getting it professionally done because it'll last me much longer um and i probably however she does pin it up i'll probably keep it pinned up for like i'm gonna try to go at least a week i don't know if that's gonna happen but i'm gonna try to go at least a week of keeping it pinned up um and then i guess i'll just let it fall but hopefully by then my new growth or my like all this hair right here that's not locked will be like locked well you, you know what i mean like it'll hopefully be holding the retwist um and that will also make my hair appear to be longer than what it appears to be now because i have so much hair like like i said like up to here is just like loose hair for real like this is loose hair oh yeah and i started getting my nails back done because i'm about to i'm about to be cute again now that i'm about to graduate but yeah so my hair is probably going to be a little longer length check still about the same just about if you can see but my collarbone is right here and it's still at my collarbone before i was kind of stretching though i was like this with it but yeah it's like chilling on my collarbone which is right here which is cool because y'all i'm i'm trying to tell you like my hair is gonna look longer once i get it done just because of how much like hair that i have that's not locks like it's not locks um and to be honest y'all like that is my update um yeah i'm really trying to think of what else nothing has really been different about my hair as far as like the upkeep well now that it's beginning to warm up outside i'm so happy about that because i'll be able to just spray my hair in the morning and like go without worry worrying about like getting sick or anything like that so that is a plus last summer when i started my locks i was able to just wash my hair and go outside and it would dry up so quickly i guess because of the heat outside or just because of how my hair is but i was very really really hesitant of doing that during um the off season the cold season um but now i can go back to that and i feel like that made my hair lock up so much quicker i feel like the progression slowed down when i wasn't able to keep it as moisturized as i did in the beginning um you know when like the weather was warmer so hopefully that'll mean that i'll see like a, a growth spurt in my hair also since i'm at 10 months i feel like this summertime reaching like one year of having my hair locked hopefully it's kind of like I feel like I'm getting to getting over the hump of like once you get over like the struggle mode, the baby lock stage, then once it's like lock lock. Am I making sense? Y'all know I just be talking, but yeah, once it gets like over that hump, then it's just gonna take off. Like you know what I mean? It's just going 
take off and start doing this thing for real. I feel like the shrinking stage is kind of over, in my opinion. I'm not sure. Don't really know what to expect because this is my first time locking my hair. But I feel like it is because at one point, it just felt like my hair was not growing. It was doing nothing but shrinking. But at this point, I kind of feel like the shrinking has kind of ended and it's just kind of beginning to drop. Another thing that the loctician told me she would do is she's going to snip all these baby pieces at the ends of my hair and I have a lot of them what I do with them if you can see that I usually will like if they're when they're wet you can see them curl up at the end which I think is kind of cute but it also kind of looks a little bit tacky sometimes like when they dry up it just looks terrible um but yeah she said she's gonna trim those for me which is good because then like my hair will look like locks and not like like they have damaged ends or something like that but yeah stuff like this like all this some of them are still very weird in shape and size like what is going on here like like what is that and i thought that it would come out over time but this has been looking like this for a long time that one in the back that i told y'all about y'all it's still ugly as ever it itches the back of my neck it's just not meant to be there i feel like in my opinion but look at that like why does it look like that I'm not sure why my head thought it was okay for its lock to come out like this, but it is just like the ugliest thing to me. And of course it has like this loose curl at the bottom of it. It, it like it's the only lock that really itches me. Like it just doesn't feel right. It just, oh, it's just like, I gotta do something to it. I, I kind of really, really want to just cut it off and start that as a brand new lock and see like how slow or how fast it'll grow starting from the bottom since i didn't start from the bottom with the rest of my hair i had length to it and stuff so of course that's still in the back of my mind always but then i feel like i'm gonna miss it if i do that but it's just everything about it annoys me and i don't know how much longer i can look at it but that's really it for real for real this time that's really it um y'all are the realist thank you for watching thank you for keeping up with me thank you for your patience because i know i've been gone for like two or three i think three weeks i think three weeks so i apologize for that but y'all the realist anyway thanks for keeping up with my lock journey and of course if you ever have any tips or anything that you want to comment or questions for me feel free to do so thank you guys and happy tuesday